Welcome to the Samsung Boat Show. I'm here with uh, Samsung Ambassador Dee Kapari. So thank you for joining us, Dee. Um, and we've just got a few kind of quick fire questions. Um, so, Dee, what's your favourite sailing area anywhere in the world? For me, well, I spent most of my time, believe it or not, in the Southern Ocean, but I absolutely love it down there. It's scary and hostile and extreme, but it's also some of the best sailing you can do. But outside of that intense racing environment, I am still learning about the best places to go because I spend all my time sailing past them, but I don't stop and get to enjoy them. So that's where I'm thinking sun sail is going to make a massive difference to my life. <laughs> we'll see, yeah. Um, so what if you had to choose one item that was an absolute must have to bring with you, what would it be? I probably never go to sea without lip salve. Okay. Got to have kissable lips when you get in. <laughs> Very good, very good. Um, and how easy do you find it to, to switch off uh, when you do get in at the end of a leg or at the end of a race? Um, it takes a little bit of time because you're fueled with a bit of adrenaline and there's lots that's happened and you want to tell people all about it. And it takes a little bit of time to decompress. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, you do that big hype and you have a drink and you have something to eat, but actually the shower process is quite therapeutic because suddenly you're showering and you're having that you know, flowing warm water that you haven't had for ages and towels and moisturiser, all the things that you've missed. And then um, I think just to have a change of scene where you've been on the water all the time, although I love that environment, to go for a walk. And I, I'm a dog owner, so a dog walk for me is my time. That's me time and um, it does allow me just to kind of put life in perspective and reevaluate where I am. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned earlier that um, you know music plays a big part um, in, in your life. And um, what sort of music do you, do you play on board when you when you need to? Sort of I have the worst playlists ever. I have such an eclectic mix of music um, in my in my life, and I can take it offshore. And there's it depends on the weather or the location. You know, so like Cape Horn, something mega. You know, that is kind of Pride of the Valkyries type music, and then. Other times you just need to pick yourself up, so whatever inspires you. I'm very good at sing-alongs. My karaoke skills in the middle of an ocean are amazing. <laughs> so yeah, no, scarily eclectic, but I, I like um, I like stuff and actually um, I, I gather my music and playlist by years and it reminds me of different races that I did that year and where I was. So um, yeah, but a, a very varied mix. Okay. Obviously, you recently finished the, the Volvo. Um, what was your first meal when you, when you came back ashore? I'm a real creature of habit with um, my routine of eating and racing. So my pre-departure, whenever I go offshore, is a pizza. I always have a pizza as my departure meal. And I think I've managed to get quite a few other offshore sailors along the same lines as that. We often text each other on something like the Volvo Ocean Race saying, oh, I'm having my pizza, how's yours? Uh, but then when you come back, it's um, what you haven't had. So you often crave fresh, be it salads or, you know, the crunch or the juice of fresh fruit and stuff. And when I remember when I got into Cardiff, my sister and my family were there on the dock. And she said, oh, I'm going to do dinner. What do you really want? And actually she did a Sunday roast. And it was just lovely because it's just something that you wouldn't have had for X number of days that you've been offshore. So anything that you can't get. Okay. And so obviously when you go off and do these offshore races, uh, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Um, so what is it that um, you miss the most or you most look forward to um, when, you, when you are out there? The, the sacrifice you make offshore sailing is a long time away from friends and family um, and, and home. You know, I did some renovations on my home and then disappeared for a year. So it's little things that you miss. You miss birthdays, weddings, christenings. And so the important thing for me when I'm back is to make sure that I reconnect with those people. So friends and family are really important. And I try and spend as much as my time as I can being sociable and seeing the people and having people around for dinner. And so I get to live in my house, but I also get to share um, that time with people that are important to me. So it's that balance, but um, I like, a, like nice hospitality and spending time with good people. Great, yeah, sounds brilliant. All right. Thanks very much, Dee.